hello everyone welcome to api testing so last video we have seen what is api and what are the things required for api testing so i can show you the document so instead of taking uh, some independent api from google somewhere so i have collected api for task management app here you can see the api for registration so when you are registering as a user you have like you will use that registration api then login then authenticate then uh, creating new task getting all the tasks for the user getting single task update task and delete task so this is just an overview of all the api here we can see so let's start from registration so what are the thing we required we need an endpoint for registration so ip address task manager v1 end with register method is post the parameter what are the parameter we have to send name email and password so for api testing i'm using uh, postman tool which is easy to use actually so here you can give url i have given and uh, method is a post so body is like we have to click on body then this api is built with url encoded so click on url encoded like or not all the APIs are URL encoded. Some API require raw data, some API require form data. You can try actually. If not working with URL, you can try with form data. So as I seen here, name, email and password. Just enter name, something like uh, Shiva22 and uh, email Shiva22 at gmail.com then password one two three four five six okay so now just trigger the api see you can see you are successfully registered okay this is actually a positive response you are successfully registered so if anything missing so when you are testing api actually you have to test negative case also when you are missing you should get required field missing not uh, successfully registered okay just do one thing remove email and send required field email is missing so here you can see the negative test case also and uh, click and send sorry this email already existed so so these are all the way you have to test api so when you are testing the registration through app you will enter the email and uh, you will enter that again used email and you will try to sign up with without email so all the thing you have to do with api as well okay so this is what we have to do and what are the thing we have to validate accept message status code and you can uh, when you are testing functional some people won't uh, take care of like uh, don't worry about this time because when you're testing performance you can worry about this timing how much time it's taking to uh, giving the response okay so this is how we have to do post method with registration so next video we can see how to do login api okay guys please subscribe please put your comments thank you